Here's Dominic Raab, of course, first Secretary of State, Foreign Secretary. Uh, and he was, uh, what was he talking about? Uh, in the sight of our armed forces working side by side with NHS staffs offers reassurance we will come through the crisis. So if you needed, if you were in any doubt uh, that we were going to do that, then that has been allayed, no doubt. He went on to say it's only fitting to pay tribute to the amazing work of our armed forces in the Ministry of Defence. Uh, they've been there every step of the way, helping reinforce our critical care capacity, supporting local resilience and delivering personal protective equipment where it's needed most. Uh, and the mobile lab's critical for ramping up testing capacity right across the country. So that's fantastic stuff. Um, well, the head of the British Army, of course, Nick Carter, General Sir Nick Carter, and he was uh, also at this particular briefing. Um, so let's uh, just listen to a little, little bit of what he had to say. With our 77th Brigade, helping to quash rumours from misinformation, but also to counter disinformation. Between three and 4,000 of our people have been involved, with around 20,000 available the whole time at high readiness. Uh, I do apologise, that was a slight mistake. Uh, we need to go back to a Rusi presentation that he gave uh, um, a, year or, a year or so, 18 months ago. Uh, and he was basically saying this, uh, Russia, China, Yemen, Libya, the Sahel, uh, he's very concerned about all these regions geopolitically. Uh, he said our own media has a really important role to play in setting up well-informed public debate. Uh, and he said that political warfare is war by other means. Uh, he want, went on to say this requires a fusion approach. This is very important. This is all about cross-government uh, uh, working together. So one of the features of, or one of the, the things that he was pushing uh, hardest during his uh, during the live stream on Wednesday was that, that he's working with civilian agencies, and we'll come on to that in a second, but also right across government, all government departments. This is fusion, getting everybody working together. He said that uh, NATO is turning its mind effectively to the challenges of the future, including China, uh, and we're going to come on to the China issue in a minute. But he also had this to say, uh, we also, though, need to continue to improve our ability to fight on this new battlefield, and I think it's important that we build on the excellent foundation we've created for information warfare through our 77 Brigade, which is now driving, uh, giving us the capability to compete in the, in the war of narratives at the tactical level. This is what it's about. So when he says he's got a couple of thousand people working full time on this, thousands of others work you know, on, on, on short notice to, to get involved, he's talking about information warfare, but he's admitting that he is waging this information warfare on the British people. Not only that, Mike, but what is, what is Brigade 77 when you have thousands of people working on controlling the narrative? What are they? They're sock puppet accounts on social media. They're fake Twitter accounts, fake Facebook accounts. These aren't people who are working under their own ID or their own, and this is some the behavior that the Silicon Valley uh, companies, Mike, are sort of, you know, telling people is not proper online behavior. The, the government is doing it by the, with boiler rooms or people working at home now in the gig economy, I guess for Brigade 77, sock puppet accounts, yeah. trolling, uh, uh, trolling people in comment threads, Mike, with, with fake avatars. What? On, on your domestic population. Absolutely, wow. uh, but it gets better because during that presentation, he also said that they're working very closely with the Rapid Response Unit within the Cabinet Office. Now, Rapid Response Unit was set up um, in 2018. It was given a year to prove its worth, and then in August last year, it was given uh, permanent footing. Uh, and uh, well, the Cabinet Office Minister at the time uh, was Oliver Dowden. He is now the Culture Secretary. Uh, and uh, this is what he had to say, transforming the government, that's the wrong quote. Okay, we'll move on. But anyway, the point here is uh, that uh, Oliver Dowden uh, has uh, now rebuilt or he's he rebutted 70 false claims per week since the coronavirus crisis hit the UK, he said. Seven, that's what he claims. Uh, and uh, they are working very, very hard to rebut these false narratives. Now, what was really interesting Patrick, was that, that quite a number of the ones that they mentioned in their press release were mainstream media uh, comments, so stuff that, that was out in the mainstream media where the government were taking offence at, at some of the things that were being said and felt they had to rebut it. But nonetheless, the Rapid Response Unit also, like 77 Brigade, trolling social media, they're playing that the same game. And this is a, another example of the fusion doctrine at work where we've got military and civilian personnel working together uh, to, to 
counter so-called disinformation. Is it no coincidence, Mike, that the rapid response mechanism among NATO member states, you see the policies among NATO member states are more or less streamlined with regards to the response to this so-called uh, pandemic? Right. It's very interesting that you say that because you've made a mistake there. You've said rapid response mechanism. Oh. This is the rapid response unit. These oh, are okay. two different things, but they're named <laughs> basically the same because they do basically the it's, same job. Right. Now, what you're talking about is the rapid response mechanism, which is where all the G20 countries have a common narrative, which is then pursued through the mainstream media. The rapid response unit is or the there. G7. To make, the G7. The G7. The rapid response unit is there to make sure that that narrative is succeeding. Ooh.